to another one of my videos on Logan Speed Shop. Today, prepping the S15 for Motor X, which will be this weekend, but same video for this one. So i got a few things to sort out. One of the big things is the coil packs. I've always suspected these are being Chinese junk, and most likely are. I got them early on in the S13 build. Can't even remember where I got them on to, from, to be honest. But I'll pull one out now quickly. So I've got the Franklin Engineering lower parts, which nothing of the stalks at all. But yeah, the actual coil pack, it's failing me a bit. So I'm going to chuck a new set in. So I've got a set of Hitachis here from Raceworks. So good enough to source and me a set, seeing as they were out of stock and get them to me quickly. So you've got a set of them, see the difference at the moment, so just got to change that stalk over, do that to every coil pack, and should, yep, got a set of spark plugs in here already gapped, so we'll chuck them in as well. So they gapped to 0.4, so nice and small for the high boost, arguably probably a little bit too small, but it'll do the job well so we'll get those in there now um, and then just a couple other little cleanup jobs got to wash the car just had a quick polish by Corey my neighbor a good friend of mine today it's looking pretty good but yeah just needs a bit of a clean and also got a new wheel I just want to try onto the car so jack the front up jack the back up and just see what it looks like on there get a couple of quick shots and I want to chuck a spacer on one of the front axles just on the driver's side already done the passenger side as I'm pretty sure this it was bottoming out before it was actually using the spline so it wasn't actually getting it properly tight on the passenger side from my measurements so I wanted to put one on the driver's side just to be safe as well but yep let's get into it get these coil packs swapped over nothing to see pretty much unplug pull apart and redo so do that on them all and it'll be good to go back together plugs all done covers back on it's looking fresh again kind of standard looking I guess but yeah all the coil packs are out put away new spark plugs in and a new wheel on so another panel sport C5 C2 it's a 17 by 9 plus 35 we've actually got two more coming potentially maybe more see what I can get my hands on but really one of my favorite wheels and I love the style of them and I think it suits the car well so we'll get those on there build them up to the size that suits the car perfectly which is probably this but we'll see what the other ones come like Let's see the brake clearance there's plenty so that is good one of the big worries the front will probably end up still running spaces just so I can run square front to back as the back guards are tiny. But honestly don't even mind how much dish is on there. But hopefully I'll have them in the next few weeks and I can get some lips sorted once I measure them up. Um, but yeah, overall excited. Today's the day I get to see if I can finally get over my nerves. Got an Uber on the way now to take me back to Motorex. I took the car there two days ago. Today is the final day. So I'm going to take the camera along with me and see how well I go filming. No promises I'm going to get much, but I hope I will. Worst case, I'll get a bit of a walk around with a bit of music over it. But hopefully get a bit of a chance to show you around the racework stand and what I've got there. Turns out I don't have the balls to film in front of people. Pack up now, Motor X. Successful weekend. Car was on display all weekend. A few other cars. Some little mini muscle cars leaving as well. But yeah, pretty smooth weekend. It was nice display. Everything up as well. All the fitting, sensors, just in the pack up time now. But yeah, looking around. I think it was pretty good, the car made it here in one piece, which is what matters. And now we just get a nice smooth drive home. Hopefully it is. And now I can actually get out and start racing the car, start brushing it. See, I'm sure. 
everyone wanted to see everything else going on but if you did you should have been down here actually having a look at it just like that I'm back home car made it back home in one piece see the racework sticker that's bought in the front windshield that'll come off in a bit no stickers on the outside of the car for when this is driven around but yeah, it was a successful day. Sorry for the lack of filming. I just don't have the nerves to film in front of everyone. If anyone thinks they can do it, go do it. See how you go. Just film yourself walking around with your phone. Be interested to see how it comes up. But yeah, talking to a camera in public, definitely not easy. Um, over the next couple of videos, hopefully see some work on this Mazda. Start to pull it apart. Start to prep some videos for that. And like normal, pull wheels down. Just a couple of side pieces, some chairs, a seat sitting in the corners chilling. And gonna have a little video on a roller, how to make one simple to build wheels on. But yeah, that's me done. Hope you enjoyed it. Wasn't a lot going on, sorry about that. I don't even think this is a very long video. But hey, it happens sometimes.